hi guys this is irene with yummy life with irene uh back again with a very interesting video and guys i just want to say i just want to thank god because god has been so good you know sometimes god just amazes me and uh we have a very very interesting very very interesting clip at the end of this video so kindly stay tuned until the end of the video you're going to see the exciting clip and guys uh i'm overwhelmed by your love thank you for subscribing and if by any chance you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe and also hit that uh, bell icon so that every time i post a new video you're going to be notified and guys today i'm making a video and uh i'm making this video courtesy of two of you or one of them is one of my subs and uh she's called tina and the other one is called monica monica and tina had requested uh, some time back that i make videos about salads yeah so today guys we are going to make a very very yummy salad i know most of you know about it but uh, you haven't tasted my kind of uh, salad this particular salad so guys today we are going to make cold slow yeah and uh here are the ingredients that you're going to need uh we're going to need a cup of uh golden sultanas that is my secret my secret ingredient in my cold slow we're also going to need uh two tablespoons of uh red wine vinegar if you don't have red wine vinegar you can use uh, the kawaida white vinegar or even if, they, if you don't so don't have the white vinegar you can use two tablespoons of lemon juice and uh, we, we have mayonnaise and uh, some sugar black pepper and definitely some salt uh, the base of our salad or the base of our coleslaw is uh, lettuce heads so we have like uh, two and a half heads of lettuce what I do when I buy my lettuce after I've cleaned it is that I get the big leaves. So I'm left with the inner core of the lettuce and that is what I use to make coleslaw. My outer leaves, I store them very well in a Tupperware dish lined with uh, kitchen uh, towels at the base uh, and uh, a bit of uh, lemon juice and also another kitchen towel on top. Those are the leaves that I use to make my homemade burgers. So I use my lettuce two ways. One to make coleslaw and the other leaves to make the burgers. Or even sometimes I can preserve them with uh, mint leaves. Eh? That will keep them quite fresh in the fridge. Then you have half an English cucumber. What an English cucumber uh, does, it's very good for salads because it has very little water and also very minimal seeds then you are, we are going to need three medium carrots so guys let's do this so guys we're going to clean our hands remember this is a salad that is going to be eaten very raw so we really need to wash our hands so let me do that quite fast clean my hands in the beginning before I started this video and uh, I'm just rinsing them a bit so what you're going to do in a bowl a clean bowl we are going to take our let lettuce heads and uh, cut them into huge chunks I hate lettuce that is uh, doesn't have a bite. So we are going to cube our lettuce. And uh, the reason why I also cut my lettuce this way is because, you know, sometimes when you go to bite a salad and uh, the leaves or the lettuce is really long, it sort of messes your, your mouth, you know, your lips. So I like eating something that won't make me get embarrassed in a crowd. 
So big chunks, putting them in the bowl. And also with lettuce, it withers very fast. So if you give it small chops or you julienne them tinily, it loses the crunch and salads are all about a crunch. So we're going to take our, our grater and uh, using the coarse side, you know the big side, is the small size and the big side. Using the big side, we're going to grate our carrots. I like chewing on this tiny piece of carrot. So now we are going to mix this up, breaking the chunks of the lettuce a bit. And to this, we are going to do like a half a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. Guys, I am known as the queen of flavor, and I hate blunt things. I really, really hate blunt things. I don't eat food just for the sake of eating. I like the taste it leaves in my mouth. So black pepper goes a long, long way. So to this, we are going to do a tablespoon of sugar. And mix this up. Then you're going to do a pinch of salt if you want everything that has sugar to taste well just put a pinch of salt and guys for the sugar you can uh, sweeten your cold slow with honey but uh, i am allergic to honey so i don't do honey so to this i'm going to eyeball like uh Half a cup of uh, golden raisins. My tabletop is clean. Then to this, I want to add an aspect of kick, you know, to my coleslaw. Something that will, will make my palate come alive. So I'm going to do... One and a half tablespoons of uh, red wine vinegar. And uh, this is a substitute you can do with, or you can do without. You can do vinegar, you can do white vinegar, or the, I mean the red wine, the white vinegar. 
And also you can do lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then to this, I'm going to add two tablespoons heaped of mayo. And guys, uh, this is my homemade mayonnaise. I'm going to do a video and show you how I make mine. But I like storing them in the mayo jars so that when it's in the fridge, somebody can know this is mayo and this is yogurt. So we are going to mix this sort of uh, mashing it a bit and uh, we are going to do another two tablespoons of mayo. Guys, you can always add but it's very hard to take away. So that's why I keep, you'd rather do small portions first. You stir your coleslaw until you can tell the sugar has dissolved. Uh, lettuce is really sucking up the mayo and uh, according to me this would be okay with other people but I love mayo that is uh, I love coleslaw that is well dressed with mayo so in total it's like we have used five tablespoons of mayo So I'm going to test this just for, you can tell it's crunchy. Just don't want to know how my seasoning is. Mm. I like that. The kick in that uh, coleslaw because of the red wine vinegar. Ooh, it's amazing. So we want to do a garnish for our coleslaw. So using a sharp knife, we are going to cut thin circles. Guys, I love using my hand. I'm faster that way. I really love the taste of English cucumber. So guys, I'm chewing on the cucumber. I want to show you how we serve our coleslaw. We're going to transfer this to a clean Last casserole dish.
do that in the sink. So using the back of a fork, I'm going to lay down my coleslaw, just pressing it a bit, not mashing it really, just giving it a flat base so that we're able to do garnish and the garnish looks nice. Yeah, like that. So we're going to garnish our coleslaw using the English cucumber. We're just overlapping them, following the shape of the dish, like that. Presentation, guys. Remember always we eat with our eyes first before we eat with our mouth. So make it count, make it look nice. So that when you place it on top of your service table, everybody goes wow. So when you come to the end, we are going to lift our first one and just place the other one underneath so that's okay guys always with coleslaw i like wiping my dish clean like i can see some smudges over here yeah so with coleslaw or any salad that you're serving cold it needs to go to the refrigerator for like about 10, 20 minutes so that when you're serving it, it's still very cold and cool. So we are going to clean our cold slope very well and cut this. So guys, here is our coleslaw. This is how it looks. And uh, I'm going to stay it in the fridge for about 10, 20 minutes. So as we are waiting for the coleslaw to chill down a bit in the fridge, uh, I promised you about uh, a surprise at the end of the video. And uh, by God's grace, let me say that God is amazing. And by his grace, one of my good friends, and uh, a subscriber called Kate, uh, Kid Salon. She also has a YouTube channel. You should watch it. Uh, she runs a, a, a kid's salon. Recommended me to one of the, say, let me say, big influencers, content creators in our country. That is uh, Baba Talisha or Faustin. And um, by God's grace, your girl got to cater for... Uh, Baba Talisha's 100k plus celebration party and uh, let me stop talking guys watch the clip <laughs> I want to get up 
So guys, thank you uh, for watching the clip. Uh, our chala, uh, our call slow has chilled down, and uh, I just want to unwrap it. guys here here is our coleslaw so let's do a bit of testing let me get uh, a scoop of the Guys, bon appetit. Our counselor has a kick for using the red wine vinegar and also a crunch aspect because we didn't really mince our, our lettuce and also we used the golden sultana so that has a, gives it a crunch aspect so guys I want to say thank you for being with me and guys, continue subscribing, continue liking, continue, you know, sharing the content. And uh, God bless you for that. And guys, um, I'm telling you, God is doing great things. Eh? I have uh, another surprise coming up in my next three videos. Uh, you will see. So guys, keep watching, uh, press the bell icon that when I upload, you will be notified. And guys, see you in my next video. I'm so grateful. Bye guys. I love you.